Hey, what is up, YouTube? Game Sparks here again today, as always. And finally, been able to get back into the full test demonstration of the Axis 50 watt foldable portable charger solar panels. Here I have some of my uh, equipment out here today with me. Oh, I have also failed to mention uh, right now it is currently 1.33 p.m. The UV index is over 8 today and the temperature is over 80 degrees. It's a mostly sunny day. As you can see it's a perfect example. The sun is directly above my head almost. And there's very little bit of clouds. I'm trying to showcase that. So take that into consideration but it's very 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 bright today very optimal day I would say. Go ahead and plug this into the source solar. So to go ahead and prove that this does work as a solar generator basically and I'll go ahead and plug the solar panel charger in. It's going to see 1180. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and the voltage should raise. A bit of clouds rolling over Head, but as you can see the voltage is going up aside from the clouds blocking a bit of the light the voltage has gone up I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the solar panels you can see the voltage dropping down again 81, 82 I'm going to go ahead and actually test the power production of this panel. Now, like I said, mind you, I have been getting a little bit of clouds uh, overhead over the past few minutes. Come and go. I don't know how well I can make it out on camera, but there's some clouds rolling by. It's nothing too heavy, but it's making a slight impact on the actual stability of the wattage and voltage outcome, but giving me a very, very good idea. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hook up this solar charger panel as the source to the watt meter. Okay, so I'm going to and plug this in. And the voltage has been stabilized around 15.8 volts, 1.43 amps, 22.5 watts. You can see the solar generator is charging with a rate of about 0 0.3 watt hours currently. The unit is back to being fully charged again. I really thought I'd have to complain about that problem, but since the unit's fully charged, it's now drawing or generating zero watts because it's now stabilized. So whatever energy you should be using will now be using the external bit of the solar. I have the power inverter hooked up also. So not only this unit is charging off of solar, it's running the inverter to give me the readout on the watt meter. The uh, clouds have been causing some spotty sun, so I do apologize for the fluctuating readings. It's been a pretty steady average around 25 to 30 watts, depending if I have the load on there or not, meaning if I have the solar generator plugged in charging or if I don't have it plugged in. The only way I'll be able to get a wattage output uh, reading, however, is with the uh, solar generator plugged into the panels and charging. That way the panel actually has a load on it. Otherwise, I'll just be able to get a voltage reading. As you can see, the voltage dropped down and the clouds are rolling by again. I'm still managing to generate about an amp and a half at 13 volts, which is pretty good. It's still about 20 watts. Probably doesn't do it any justice on video, but 
the cloudiness is making quite some difference and getting some light loss and shading. Nonetheless, it's still performing very beautifully. It's 1.53 amps now, 1.5, 13.33 volts, 17 watts. It's pretty heavy cloudiness, cloudiness now. Just like I said, the clouds keep rolling past. As you can see, the once the clouds get past, the wattage is going back up because the brightness of the sun is increasing. Obviously, with every and any solar device, you'd want to have optimal amount of sunlight for the optimal output. But this gives you a very good idea, and it's been a very high performance outcome so far, even with this situation with the clouds being very spotty today. It's been very good performance, and almost up to two amperes at 13.45 volts, 25 watts about. And mind you, this is while running this uh, polar wind fan. This is 0 0.55 amps, 120 volts, and that is run off of the volt cube power inverter, so 150 watt. And that's running on 12 volt DC output, as you can see there. On the left side is your DC 12 volt output running to a power inverter, and the solar charger runs through the watt meter as the source. And the load end gets connected to your charging end, so I can monitor how much energy is being created and or used depending on how I have the watt meter hooked up in line. And the charger is still, uh, the solar generator is still charging. This also reminds me with that being said, uh, personally I don't recommend putting these solar generators in direct sunlight, uh, especially this one however because it is black so it does want to absorb a lot of heat and I wouldn't recommend that since the lithium batteries um, that's just my personal two cents on that and also with that being said I do have everything still hooked up the power inverter and the solar charger uh, input is still charging the generator I'm gonna go ahead and test out the USB function for the onboard junction box uh, controller charger I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but you can see the red light is on, LED indicator is on. It's plugged into the, well, one of the uh, three USB ports. It's 15 watts total output. There's a reading of solar, 13.44 volts, 22.5 watts. Getting close to 2 amps, 1.76 amps. 3.5 watt hours so far generated. Pretty consistent around 25 watts. Again, this is the nominal voltage and readout without the load, meaning without the solar generator being plugged in and charging. 1707 volts, 1706. Plugged into charge. 1.47 amps, 1.51 amps, 5.2, 5.3, amps, and this is without any load on the solar generator, it's just only charging it by itself. Go ahead and unplug the USB mobile device that was charging off of the generator, or rather off the panel as well. Clouds are a little bit past being passed over my head just now. And I also have the Texas 100 watt solar generator. And I have the DC 12 volt output powering a 150 watt volt cube power inverter. Let me go ahead and plug in the solar charger. And so this is a test load. I have the fan plugged into the 12 volt power inverter. It's drawing roughly 33 watts at 2.6 amps or so. You see the voltage is dropping. Sorry it was a little bit hard to see because the intense sunlight today. 
but it is reading at 1184, 1182 volts. It's a very, very bright day, so I do apologize. It's a little bit difficult to see, but I assure you it's exactly reading as I am reading it off to you the best I can. So like I said, I have this 120 volt AC, 60 hertz fan, 0.35 amps, running on maximum speed off of the volt cube 150 watt power inverter hope you guys enjoyed this test video and demonstration of the solar panel slash solar generator again this is the Paxis 50 watt foldable portable panel charging system for USB devices and mobile devices as well as most importantly and my favorite the solar generators offered Today's model I'm using is the Paxis 100 watt. This is rated at 100 watts, and I believe it is 150 watt hours, if I'm not mistaken. You can find links to purchase all these items in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.